Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is an epic snowstorm that should last for like 24 hours. We have a ton of snow already. And so I was sitting with my daughters, I have three children, two of them are girls, sitting with my daughters in my beauty room and we started a swatch party, which was super fun. I'll insert a picture. But anyway, as we were doing that, I was like, you know, I wanna go through my palettes and maybe pick out like a category to kind of focus on. And so what I came up with were, um, how many? One, two, three, four, five. Seven small palettes that I have. And by small, I mean six pans or fewer. Um, seven, oh, I have a nine pan, oops. But I only really use six of the colors. Let's count that in. But anyway, small palettes that I really love and just wanted to share my thoughts about them. So if you're interested in this kind of content, just keep watching. So little palettes, here's the deal. I like to change my eyeshadow all the time. So me having like one palette that I stick with is rare and usually would be a larger palette because a larger palette, I could do a whole bunch of different looks. But there are times where I just want something simple. I just wanna throw it on my eye and not pay too much attention to it, use every color in the palette and that's it. Today, by the way, I'm using um, the Pillow Talk palette from Charlotte Tilbury with a really thick line because things got out of hand this morning. But I don't have that here because I, it's brand new to me and I can't recommend it. But the rest of them that I have here, I can. So anyway, sometimes a small palette just does, does what I need it to do. I've been feeling more and more like small palettes are what I wanna focus on. I just wanna spend some time using my small palettes, maybe even hitting pan on some of them. That would be amazing. So. Let's talk about my favorite ones. Okay, no surprise, I have two Natasha Denona palettes in here that I absolutely love. So one is the Mini Star palette. I've talked about this a bazillion times. I'm gonna stop. And the other one's the Mini Glam palette, which I've just recently added to my collection. I've been really enjoying it. And I find with both of these, by the way, especially the Star palette, that I can get a variety of looks. I can get probably four looks, four distinct looks out of this palette. Maybe that would be a fun thing to do. Do you hear the train? There it is. Anyway, maybe that would be a fun thing to do, like see how many different looks I can get from one little tiny palette. But this one I feel is very distinct as because you have the blue and then this greenish gold color, you can really get some different looks in here. In this one, I feel like it's a bit more monochromatic. You can get maybe a couple looks, but just a simple, great looking look every day with this. There are some different tones in here. Let me pull it a little bit closer. There are some different tones. Oh, do you see that? It cracked, it's so sad. I, I dropped it, but anyway. There's some different tones in here. This I was wearing in my last video. Um, this deep brown is beautiful and this creates quite a different look, but then this is a shimmer all over the lid. This is a crease color. It's just great and simple. And I've shown you this several times, but same thing. We have these as like basic and then these two really liven it up. So I absolutely love those. Um, another palette that I love, very different price point, is the Believe Beauty. Um, this was $5, nearly nude eyeshadow palette. I really, really love this palette. And I have several of them, but this is the one that I love the most as far as the colors go. So it has beautiful shimmers, the matte, um, colors are really nice in here as well. Um, these are really interesting because they have kind of like a deeper shift happening in them sometimes. You see like the depth that happens. Sometimes the light catches them. So I really love these. Um, $5 and you can't go wrong. I mean, this is like a beautiful palette. Again, you can have some variety, but it can also be very simple, very simple to use all the time. I really like that one. Unfortunately though, that is my only small I just found the <laughs> I just found the bit of eyeshadow that fell out of that palette. It's so much. Oh, I just dropped it again. It's over. Anyway, unfortunately, this is the only small palette that I have that's a drugstore palette that I love. I did have some of the bite size um eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. They were fine. They they weren't my favorite, to be totally honest. And they were they were great, and the price was amazing. But they weren't my favorite. I, de I decluttered them. So this is the only one that I have that's a drugstore small palette. So I am looking for some recommendations on quads or small palettes from the drugstore that you absolutely love. Please um, put a comment down below. Mm. All right. So let's talk about the other expensive ones. So this is a Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the Easy Eye Palette for the Charlotte Darling look. I got this free with um, a purchase. Um, what was it? I think it was 
Um, I think at Nordstrom, if you bought a foundation, you spent a certain amount um, on Charlotte Tilbury products, you got this for free. And oh, am I happy with it. I really love these shades. I love the um, shimmers and the mattes. I just think this is very, very pretty. And I'm excited to get some use out of this. Another palette that I absolutely love is the Pat McGrath. Um, what's this one called? I'll tell you what it's called. I'll put put it down below. But this is just four shades. They are gorgeous. I got this on a great sale. I did not pay full price for this, but I absolutely love them. This is like one of my favorite shades, how it blings out any look. The red is beautiful. They're just all really, really beautiful shades. And I can get some different looks out of this because of the shades, but just reminds me of this looks like Christmas to me. Like I love it or fall. I, I really do love this palette. So that's another, that's another really good one. The last two palettes, I'm not sure if you can get this one, unfortunately, um, anymore, but this is from Too Faced. It was their little like gingerbread house um, set from not this Christmas, th this holiday season, but the holiday season prior. So this came attached to a larger palette. And then on top, there was like this little like roof line that was a bronzer or highlight and blush. This is the thing that actually stood out to me. And it was, it was the part that I thought I was going to get the least use out of. But what you have are two matte shades and then four pressed glitters. Now, these are super chunky glitters. Like they're really chunky. But I love this thing. I love the, um, this glitter's a little hard to pull up. I love these two mattes. They're super blendable and easy to use. And then these just like make so much fun. Like I used this for a few days last year and it was just like every day I was going to work with glitter on and I, I was here for it. Now, they're definitely chunky, right? These aren't like the Tati Beauty really smooth glitters, but I love them. It worked. Uh, did glitter fall on my face? Yes. Was I here for it? Yes. If you're going to wear glitter, I feel like you have to be prepared for it to be all over you. And I loved it. And then the last palette is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. So my mom got this for me and because she loves greens on me and I love greens on me as well. So this one, I don't use all of the shades, which is why I really think of it as a small palette. Absolutely love this one, this one, this one this one, a little bit of this one. If I'm looking for a Kelly green, I could go there. I don't usually use the mint or this yellow, but these um, olivey kind of shimmers, they just look so pretty. This as like an olive taupe poopy color. I love it. Um, and then these light shades are very pretty on the eye. So I really love this for um, an olive look. I mean, my swatches are horrible, but for an olive look, it's very pretty. Um, and I love how small these palettes are. I really wish I got some of the ones that were a little bit more neutral, like not the um, emerald, not the obsessions that were like with the jewel tones, but some of the ones that had like the basic ones. I wish I had gotten them when they had them, but I didn't. Um, I do love this one though. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this idea. Go in through your collection and see if you have some small palettes that you really love. I think, um, I just think they're great. Sometimes you just want something little, right? And so I'm gonna be focusing on these for the next couple couple of months. And actually in this makeup bag, that video I can link right above. I posted it a few days ago. Um, in that video, I'm going to use these two palettes and the Pillow Talk palette that I'm using right now. So just getting some more use out of those little palettes that we sometimes forget. Hope everyone has has a wonderful day if you're in the Northeast and experiencing the snow. Hope you go sledding uh, and have a good one. Bye.